Hello, folks. So I know I said I was done with narrowband for this season back when I did the, the Medusa Nebula, but with the moon at 98%, I found one more target. And I don't have a lot of time to do it, but this is the target I actually started last year and never finished. And it's the Monkey Head Nebula. Uh, you can see I grabbed HA and Oxygen last year. It even got me a top pick and ended up in Astronomy Magazine. But uh, I always wanted to, my original plan was to do it in the Hubble palette, but since I ran out of time, I processed what I could. But now with the moon at 98%, I'm finally capturing sulfur for it, you know, a whole season later. So uh, it, it, it's, it's not ideal to be doing it when the moon is that bright. My mean readout is 877. That's probably about 33% higher than what it normally is for sulfur. Um but you know what? Uh, maybe I can get away with it. Uh, and if I can only even get three hours of sulfur, I'll, I'll try it and then combine it with the data I, I captured um, last, last season. And let, let's take a look. Um, I'm doing Unity game like I always do with sulfur data at 139, 21. And this is how one raw image looks like. And of course, when I close that window in Sequence Generator Pro. It always does that. Now it pops me out of Sequence Generator Pro. It's starting to drive me nuts. Uh, so here's what one sub looks like. A four minute exposure and you can sort of see the trace of the monkey head. I'm hoping I can get more than three hours. Um, but if not, you know, if it's going to be clear in a few more days, maybe I'll still try and capture more data. If not, I'll just work with what I have. So anyway, let's take a look at my guiding. Yeah, 0.87, it was better earlier. Let's clear that out. It stays in the 0.5 range right there, but it, I knew it wouldn't. This is, uh, it's already pointing to the low west. Ew. 0.93, 0 0.94. Let's take a look at my star. This guiding is not great tonight. My stars look okay. I'm not going to worry about it. They look pinpoint. In the center, they certainly look round and pinpoint. I'm using my Hotec flattener now. Let's take a look at this, the edges here. That's all the way to the, the left. That looks pretty good all the way to the left. So I go all the way to the right. I'd say my Hotec flattener is doing pretty good. Let's look at the corners. That's not too bad. Yeah, I like it actually. The, the flattener seems to be doing a pretty good job. All right, we'll see uh, how this looks when I'm finally done with it. I'll be back. Okay, so I finished capturing my sulfur data a little over three hours. Um, and that was about whew, probably two hours ago, and I've already processed this, this object, and I think I'm done. <laughs> that was fast. But let me show you what I've got here. This was my HA data from last season. And this is after I ran um, the histogram on it. Now, the thing is, um, you'll see I had to crop off a lot because... Uh, this year, when I ran the sulfur, I knew the rotation was going to be different. But when I looked at it, I'm like, oh, it's different, but it's at a perfect 90-degree angle from last year's data. So I'm like, oh, you know what? I think I can live with that. So all I'm going to have to do is crop off the, the sides here after I align them, and uh, that should be fine. And this is exactly what I would have wanted, though. The monkey heads are pointing straight up. So that's how the, the HA looks. And this is my original oxygen data from last year. And <clears throat> this is how the oxygen looks after I processed it. It's, I cropped off the sides. Let's see here. Yeah, it looks more like that, but let me shrink that again. Oops. So I, I cropped off the sides. I I ran a um, a dynamic background extraction to smooth it out from edge to edge, even it out, I should say. 
Um, and then I ran a histogram on it. And then, let's see, what else did I do? I ran um, uh, a little bit of denoise on it. And I brightened up the nebulosity with curves a little bit. And I also did a linear fit um, with the HA to try and get all of the, the filters to sort of even out. So one is not brighter than the other. So that's what I did with that. And this is my original, the SI data. That I, oh, this is the data on the left that I just captured a couple hours ago, that I finished capturing a couple hours ago. And um, you can see how it was rotated this way, um, side to side here. And um, so I did the same thing as I did with uh, um, oxygen. I, I ran a, a dynamic background extraction on it. I did the histogram. I did a linear fit. I did some denoids on it. And... Um, I brightened up the nebulosity with curves a little bit, and then it was ready for the combine with all of the other filters. And now let me show you how I what the combines look like. Now I did two different combines to see how they looked, and this is one combine, and this is the other combine. Now this one on the left, I tried um, a straight combine. Um, I did sulfur 100% in red. HA 100% in green and oxygen 100% in blue and I used HA as my luminance. I didn't try to mix the different filters uh, for luminance. I, I seem to have better luck if I just use HA as luminance. And on the right here, I, I put in red, I, I listed it up here so I won't forget, in red I put 60% HA and 40, or I mean I put 60% uh, sulfur and 40% uh, HA in red. And in green, I put 50% HA and 40% oxygen, and that's for green. And uh, it doesn't have to add up to 100. You can go over or under. I was using this um, SHO AIP script that I've used in other videos. I've shown you how to use that. And in blue, I just put 100% oxygen, and that's what this one looks like. So what do you think? Which one would you use? Which combined would you want to work with? I know a lot of people will say, well, geez, you're almost there. You've already got the gold here. you got some cyan in the middle. That looks like you're ready to go. But, you know, I always tell you guys, nah, I'm a little bit weird. I like working with the green one. I don't know why, but I think um, when I move this over to Photoshop, I think it, this in-between area looks a little bit more greenish. It's, it's just easier for me to pick off than this and I can easily just convert this over the this yellow greenish area over to, to gold so I this doesn't really matter to me this gold here I can pick it off with with this outer area anyway so um, I chose to work with the one on the left but that's just me and let me show you <laughs> okay get ready for this one to, well, let me just say, I, I did, before I, I, I went over to Photoshop, I, I did um, denoise it, I sharpened it a bit. Um, what else did I do? I think that was pretty much it. Okay, now, here's the final. Ta-da! <laughs> what do you guys think? Um, I, I worked on this middle area by playing with selective color in Photoshop. I know I've shown that in other videos before and uh, I brought it back over to once I, I make this area a little more cyan it, and gave it more pop I then um, brought it back over to PixInsight and used SCNR to then maybe about 65 percent of SCNR you can drag that down and then I, I ran it and it, it makes this middle section pop out even more bluish then I went back over to Photoshop, tried some split toning. I, I worked on this, uh, um, the colors around the edge. Um, what, what do you guys think? I know I'm kind of racing through this and <laughs> maybe you guys are taking notes. I don't know on, on the, the workflow or everybody already probably has their, 
their own kind of workflow by now, but I kind of, I really like how this looks. This is what I really wanted to do last year as opposed to that HOO image. Um, I don't know if it's ready for prime time yet. I might have to denoise it a little bit more. This is one, this is a full 100%. And maybe the background could use a little bit more denoise before I, I actually put this out there. Or, I don't know. See, here's the hard part. Where do you stop? Do I increase the saturation even more? Do I tone it down, bring, you know, bring it back a little, or is it just right? I'm probably going to sleep on this before I send it out, so it, it, it may change. <laughs> um, but anyway, I just thought I'd make this video and uh, let you guys see what I've got here. Um, okay, that's all I've got, folks. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later.